All right, we want to stick with Mr. Musk. He's reportedly tapping Tesla for Twitter talent. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan is here with the details. And Alexis, all right, you're the CEO, the most, uh, well, the most highly paid, uh, richest man in the world. You have this new company, Twitter. Why not borrow a couple of engineering execs from this great EV company and put them over here, see what happens, mix them all up. Why this not? is all legal, right? Why not? Very interdisciplinary, yes. right? <laughs> so this report is coming from CNBC. And what they have learned is that these employees are on loan from Tesla and other of Musk's companies. They say that 50 plus Tesla employees have been authorized to work at Twitter, along with two boring company employees and also one from Neural Neuralink. Um, also saying that the goal here is to really staff up quickly enough to learn very quickly to redesign eventually Twitter that we've all been talking about that so much lately. Uh, what is he going to do with, what is Elon Musk going to do? How is he going to reinvent this company? So there's talk about these employees trying to understand the source code, what is required for content moderation. That's a big one, not only in the US, but globally, and also the requirements for data privacy. So there's also some mention though by uh, CNBC saying that, well, Tesla uses different scripting language for its coding I than hope. Twitter does. So there might be a, a learning curve there for some of these folks who are on loan at this point. Now, let's just take a look at some of the more specific roles from Tesla. One of these employees is said to be a director of software development, another one director of software engineering, also director of autopilot engineering from Tesla. And also uh, there are Musk associates that are on board to try to weigh in, brainstorm at this company new ideas. Uh, the head of Musk's family office, also angel investor Jason Calacanis, also uh, former PayPal COO and uh, now VC David Sachs. Uh, also, there's a couple Musk's names in there. We don't know if they are relatives of Musk, one who had worked at Palantir and one who had worked at Neuralink. So um, also reporting that from Bloomberg coming that some of the Twitter employees, managers that were already there were asked to make some significant cuts, especially to the product teams at Twitter as much as 50 50%. Well, it's really interesting that somebody from the autopilot team might be going over to Twitter and, you know, AI, you got to think that maybe some of the algos are fungible. But my big question is, when are we going to see SpaceX engineers and cosmonauts descend on Twitter? I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, we, he, Elon Musk made some changes to the Twitter blue service. Now, not the blue checks, but the blue service. I think this is a relatively new offering here. What are the changes? What are the details? Right. So this is coming from the Wall Street Journal, and they're saying that Elon Musk has officially descended decided to end those free articles that uh, the subscribers to Twitter Blue would receive with their $4.99 a month subscription. And they were basically given access to hundreds of publications, news articles along with that service, but that is officially going to end. Look, that service has only been in operation for approximately a year. Uh, so you can't expect that the company has all so many subscribers there. They don't disclose their numbers in their SEC filings, um, but they did in that category uh, year over year from 21 uh, 2021 to 2022 have a loss in that category, a revenue loss. You got to expect that there are going to be a lot more changes ahead for Twitter. And no who, doubt. who knows, maybe uh, maybe Tesla too, maybe SpaceX. We're going to have everybody here to track it for Yahoo Finance.